We are on our way to the largest city in southern Italy and the third largest city in all of Italy. Hi guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Kate and welcome back to my channel. So finally, we made our way down to Naples this long weekend and I can't wait to show you guys around. But before that, let me show you the Airbnb that we brought. Such a cute place with a huge rooftop there. This is the most spacious B&B we stayed at in Italy so far. Our towels are neatly prepared, it's clean, and the bed is so comfy. The room also has a full kitchen equipped with all the utensils, stove, and a huge fridge. Right after checking in, we didn't waste any time. We headed straight to the streets of Naples to explore. Even though Naples does not have the best reputation for tourists, we found it safe, lively, and full of street food. Just be careful crossing the streets. Guys, this is our first day in Naples and I'm loving it so far. While walking around, we saw a long lineup from a pizzeria. Seems like a popular place for tourists and locals. You can either eat outside or wait to be seated. Since we have time, we waited. Here we ordered the famous pizza margarita. It's believed 28 years after the unification of Italy, during a visit to Naples of Queen Margarita, Chef Raffaele Esposito created a pizza resembling the colors of the Italian flag. They named it after the queen, Pizza Margherita. We also ordered the four cheese pizza. They were the best pizza I've ever eaten. After the very satisfying lunch, we went for dessert. Spagliatella, sometimes called lobster tail in English, is a shell-shaped filled Italian pastry. It was creamy and delicious. Naples takes its baba very seriously, so much that the term has entered everyday language. It is a small yeast cake saturated in syrup made with heart liquor, usually rum, and sometimes spilled. The baba is so highly appreciated that it has become an authentic icon of the city, and not only as a dessert. After that refreshing granita, we walked towards the center and just enjoyed the day.
cafe and had a panini with prosciutto, cheese, and basil with a cappuccino. Just a perfect combination to start the day. We went to Castel Nuovo, which stands out as a main feature in the skyline of Naples and is one of the first sites that people entering via cruise ships will see. I highly recommend to take the tour of the castle, admire the beautiful towers, and climb the castle ramparts for stunning views of Naples and the harbor. Undoubtedly the main square in Naples, the Piazza del Plebiscito features the Royal Palace and the Basilica Royale and is a truly fantastic place for people watching. Castel de Lovo is located on the picturesque Caracciolo seafront. The castle hosts exhibits, events, and major conferences. For its terrace, you can enjoy a magnificent view of the Gulf. After a nice walk in the castle, we went for lunch. a small food market in a random piazza.
tried some pitatina and some sweets. Pitatina is something we tried for the first time in Italy. It's basically a bowl of fried pasta with ham, peas, and cheese. So yummy and cheesy. We had such a beautiful time in Naples. We stayed here for three nights and it was the perfect amount to experience the chaotic life of Naples. We loved the city which is full of history, food, and the southern culture. Can't wait to come back to Naples. Ciao!